Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft Let's Play episode. I am Tyken, and as you can see here, there's a duck trying to besiege my base with its evil eggs of doom. I'm on to him. But at least he can't... Wait, did I put the lock on? Oh crap, he's going to get in. That's okay, I've got a shovel. Okay, I'll put the lock on now. Okay, anyway, now that that little distraction is out of the way... Evil chickens trying to get in my base. Um, as you can see here, I upgraded my base just slightly. I kind of wish my walls were a little bit thicker so I had more stuff to do with them. But already this base is pretty big for the amount of land that I have. I, I still want to expand a little bit more. But I think that's going to be much harder to do and take a lot of dirt. But regardless, as you can see here, I build guard towers kind of little stations actually and I think they look nice they could look better though um anyway uh, I put these switches here so you don't have to worry about opening and sh shutting the door behind you which I love I, I hate having to manually open a door um I put this little railing where you can just basically walk through and kind of like patrol your own castle I also have this right here which is th over the front door you can shoot down and ring death upon your enemy, or in my case, chickens. I filled this in slightly and put glass over this. The glass is directly over the yin-yang, so it frames it perfectly and the light comes in just on it, making it look kind of nice. The frames kind of obscure the picture, but it looks nice regardless. I could just remove the glass, but I don't like the thought of things just being able to fall in on me. I also need to put some torches up here so nothing spawns when I take it off of Peaceful. But, um, I also plan on making these into guard towers where you can climb up and actually have a tower. But, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, or at least how it's going to look. I could use some suggestions, definitely. So if you think you have any good ideas, I can definitely like that. Um, besides that, I did experiment with this one. I removed some of these blocks in the corners. I, I had it originally for support to make it look like it's sturdy, but I think pure glass kind of makes it look better and you don't have that obscured view. But that's up to you. I'd, I'd like to see what my fans think. Either without the support without the support beams or with the support beams. One makes it look like it's more sturdy, the other one just looks better, so realistic or better looking is generally the option and I just locked myself out oh well, I have a pickaxe I can get back in uh, I always forget that lock okay now we can go outside and I want to show you guys around of some of the stuff I've been doing while I was away oh and if you noticed I'm not sure if I sh said it in my last videos but I have better grass and better light now which Better grass just comes down the sides, makes it look nice. Better light uh, makes the light look more realistic and less like it's just blocks of light going across the ground. With different, yeah, as you can see, it just kind of a glow. Uh, down here, I started digging in and I wanted to make a canopy along the bottom of this mountain thing. Uh, I'm going to make this wider, possibly add some stuff to it. And of course, there's much more I plan to do with this, but right now it's just a nice little overlook which I can go, ha ha ha, this looks awesome. Uh, over here, I'll show you more of this in a moment, but first I need to get over there. So let's go ahead and take the fun way down. I really need to put some faster sort of transportation right here, because ladders are just painfully slow. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe putting a back door to this, or some way to get out of it quicker instead of going around the entire side uh, back here you remember my little naturally formed diving board I decided to leave this because it looks nice uh, down here I added the ring of faith or whatever you want to call it you basically jump and hope you make it into the circle the, in, inside this little circle is essentially where you're supposed to land although we both know that doesn't work all the time and good, it's getting dark. It will make the next part portion of the video easier to show. But basically, you jump in here, and you're supposed to land in the middle, or at least near the middle, so you don't die. Let's see if it works. Ah, splash. Oh my god, I swear I was going to die. Maybe I should move the thing forward just a little bit, or move this back one. 
Regardless, I didn't die, and I haven't died in a single test yet, but it makes you feel like you're going to die <laughs> every time. Um, I'm going to be putting that ring underwater, uh, just like one or two squares under the surface. Then I'm going to have a tube going downward and have signposts along the end so it keeps the water from flowing in and it gives you a pocket of air which you can swim through. So basically when I build my underwater base, this is going to be a giant chute. So you jump down, you splash through the water and fall into the tube, kind of like a water drop zone if, in my previous videos if you've seen it, which I think is going to be awesome because the entrance would be hidden and you could just literally jump into it. Then what I'm going to have is my underwater ba base kind of in the middle of this. I'm going to have a hole at the top with signs keeping... No, I'm not sure about the signs, but it's going to have a giant waterfall coming from the canopy going down into the water base. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to have a boat evader. You put the boat evader there and it skyrockets you all the way up the giant waterfall into the base, which is going to look interesting to say the least. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out, but it's a fun concept regardless. And now that it's dark, you can see what I've done here. Uh, I've always said the back of this was really dark and monsters were spawning in it and all that. So I decided to use my idea to lighten it up a bit, which I dug up as tall as I could until I reached like the surface and went against the farthest back wall I could. I may still have to fill some of that in so it doesn't look so bad, I guess. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it could look better. And I used one bucket of lava, and of course you can extend that across a couple of spaces if you know how to use it well. And I just let it fall down the naturally occurring fall, and it made a rather bright and interesting looking lava waterfall, which lightens this up and makes it look nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the entire back wall or if that's enough, but that still looks pretty nice. That pillar right there is a dirt pillar I tried to use to get back up there. I fell a couple of times. But uh, that's pretty much all I've done while you're away. I've been wanting to post more videos, but I haven't really had the time to do it recently. And things have been even busier with the holidays. So there's always that. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get back up here, actually. Um, I think that's about it for all I've done. I just basically wanted to show you guys what I've done so far and all the things I plan to do with my base. Also, a lot of people, are, well, a couple of people in general, one of my fans is like, you should really build a statue. And I have, I really have that in plan to do right now on my to-do list. Um, I was going to make it a surprise, but I might as well say it now. I'm going to make a giant cow statue which I think would be rather interesting. My girlfriend actually suggested it because she loves cows, and I think it should be pretty easy to do with enough wool, uh, a lot of time, a lot of mistakes, and obsidian, of course, for the black spots. I think it should come out rather interesting, though I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it was just me talking and exploring a bit, showing everything I've built. Also, please feel free to send in your suggestions. Either send them via mail or just comment, because I love getting suggestions and ideas. So, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. See you guys next time.